in the original drafts of the NFA, it was not just targeting machine guns. It was that there were only a couple machine guns that were really on the market, and mobsters had appreciated the aesthetic of the Thompson, and it was kind of a status symbol. It was wildly expensive. So the original drafts of the machine gun restrictions specifically said any weapon which fires automatically more than 20 shots, like 25, and it was because they were trying specifically only to target the Thompson. And if you look at the congressional record, they say, well, we see no reason to target the Browning gun. Right. We saw no, no reason to target the Colt gun, the potato digger, right? Because they are not used by gangsters. It is specifically to target the gang-appreciated aesthetic of the Thompson. The reason the tax was $200 was because the Thompson was prohibitively expensive, even for booze runners. And so they made the price of the tax the same cost as a Thompson gun, $200.